We'd like to take a moment to thank everybody for using the conditional sale disclosure instruction form that came into force in early September. It's the form that was created by a group of your peers in consultation with the Real Estate Council and our own legal counsel. Try introducing this document to your buyers when you're talking about agency at the beginning of your relationship. This will give them an opportunity to understand the process and decisions that sellers go through. What a great opportunity to, when talking to your buyers about agency, talk to them about the options that sellers have when they receive an offer. That's going to give you a chance to let them make a choice about what properties they'd like to see. Explaining to them that what pending means, what you means, and the options for a seller to leave the property active. However, it also reminds you that at every opportunity, you need to be asking that one question. Is this property currently under contract? The answer must be given honestly. If you've introduced the document to them early in your relationship, they're probably in an excellent position to understand the transaction process and make an informed decision. There's a video made by Charles Stevenson on Kreblink, which will help give you some context if you haven't already seen it as to why we've ended up with the conditional sale disclosure instruction form. It really speaks to Rika's perspective on lawful instruction and ultimately your legal obligation to represent your seller.